Dr. Wendy Osifo is a political commentator who thinks Sessions must resign, and she joins us tonight. Wendy, thanks a lot for coming on. Thank you. So, I mean, I would think as a progressive, you would believe in hearing evidence before reaching conclusions in due process. Mm -hmm. He hasn't even testified yet. Mm -hmm. These meetings amount to nothing, and you think he should resign on the basis of them. Absolutely, I think he should resign. So let's start on the basis that Jeff Sessions should not even be an attorney general. This is the same man that called the NAACP and the ACLU un-American. The same man who Perez Scott King said this man should not be anywhere near our government, and his judgeship was rejected. Sessions should definitely resign. He has no business because in our government. Because he disagrees with you. Now, let, me, let me just say, no, I, think that, I think the NAACP is a shadow of itself. I think it's a joke. It's an appalling oh, joke. So does that make me a bad person? No, it makes me someone who disagrees with you on that subject. It makes you someone who disagrees with me on the, that subject. However, the difference between you and Jeff Sessions is you are not the attorney general. As an attorney general, you should have a certain decorum when it comes to civil liberties, and he does so not. So anybody who criticizes NAACP or the ACLU should not be allowed to be Attorney General of the United States. That's what you're saying? I think their judgeship should be rejected as it was for Jeff Sessions. Moreover, with Jeff Sessions, well, when we look at... So only people who agree with the political aims of the ACLU and the no, NAACP? So no, basically, no. no one who's right of left should be allowed to govern in the country. No. I mean, that kind of is the view, I've noticed. No, that's not necessarily the view. The view is that anyone who is in our government should welcome all thoughts, should welcome all streams of thinking, and Jeff Sessions does not. And that is a problem. Well, it sounds like you're the one who doesn't. I mean, he disagrees with you on this subject. Okay. And so he shouldn't be allowed to hold high government office. That appears to be the case you're making. That's just Is that a constitutional position that you have? Well, the constitutional position I have is that he lied on SF-86, the foreman, which made him the Attorney General. And he lied because he was asked, did you, in the Congress, by the senator from Minnesota, did you, in your capacity as a Trump surrogate, meet with the Russians? Mm -hmm. And his position is, no, in my capacity as a senator from Alabama, an Armed Services Committee member, I met on two occasions in a meaningless way with Kislyak. Oh, Tucker, come on. You know that that's not the way in which the form is written. Furthermore, the form says you have to be honest and you have to be completely forthcoming with information. He did How neither. How much do you know about this? I mean, that meeting with Kislyak was on his public schedule. How about the third meeting that we're hearing about that he has not made mention of? Well, I, they're denying it took place. Do you have evidence that it took place? Do you have evidence that it didn't take place? I don't know. I mean, we've had no eyewitnesses. We've had no one allege that it took place in any specific way. And Sessions himself and his staff say it didn't take place. So. Mm -hmm. We, I guess we until have James a, Comey, the former director of the Federal oh, Bureau, say it Bureau of Investigation. In the closed session, it came out because we all know leaks are synonymous with Washington, D.C., even if it's a closed session. So Comey said, it's, where did it take place and when? Well, uh, Tucker, hello. They said that the third meeting happened. Now, Comey did not where? provide details. He did not provide details. Oh. I was not there, so I don't know if he but did. But it's something you heard lead? on television, but therefore he lead? should resign because but of that. Because why? I mean, do you see the crazy? I'm not, I don't I want to be mean to you, but no, I mean, you're not being do you mean. see that if before you destroy someone's life and force him out of his job and impute his character, wouldn't you want some evidence before you do that? But you mean no? the same way that Jeff Sessions was calling for Hillary Clinton to, to for, for us to disband her? Like he was destroying her character as well. Therefore, he deserves it now. Is that what you're arguing? No, I'm not arguing what, that. What are you arguing exactly? What I'm arguing exactly is that he was dishonest on his form. What I'm arguing exactly is that he has no place being an attorney general because to begin with. What I'm arguing because he exactly. Because doesn't like the NAACP and no, he had some secret meeting about what you Nothing. Absolutely not. What I'm arguing exactly is that this is another tell in the mosaic of dishonesty that is the Trump administration. And we have to look at it in totality. And that okay. is a problem. So you don't like the, the administration. Totality. Anyone who works there should resign because they're tainted by the by the dishonesty. I mean, look, I guess here's no. the point I'm making, okay? I think Sessions is worth defending as a man because I think he's an honorable man. And I happen to agree with a lot of his ideas. He's honorable. He called a black attorney but a boy. Even if actually he's honorable. he denies that he said that. Okay, so if and I deny it, that's something that makes it the well, truth? I don't know. It, it, it's not proved. And okay. I guess this is, this is the point worth defending here. And it is that you ought to be required to prove something before you punish someone for something. If we held a criminal trial using the standards you're outlining here, there'd be a lot of injustice, don't you think? We don't punish people unless we can prove they did something wrong, and you can't. Well, at the same token, the President of the United States, who lives at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue, has made a lot of assassination of character on people, but we have not said to him, not only do you have to apologize, you have to be held accountable. Did he not say that President Obama wiretapped okay. where he I, lived? I think we're, we're, arguing, we're arguing different things here. I'm not here to defend the President's Twitter feed. I'm merely saying that the okay. Attorney General of the United States shouldn't be forced out of office unless we can prove he did something wrong. And in the case, for example, of the third meeting with the Russians, okay. 
as if two wasn't Mitch enough. Is, <laughs> as if two wasn't enough. Do you enough. think it's disqualifying if someone coming down off a riser is greeted by a foreign ambassador? Is that does that disqualify you for high office? Are you saying that that's what he did? Do you know the extent of his meeting? Yes, as as you saw well, that one meeting. I mean, I actually interviewed someone this weekend who was standing right next to him, who's not particularly a Sessions guy. Just happened to be there, and 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 I take his word for it. And by the way, there are a ton of other people in the room, like a hundred of them. Okay. And no one alleges otherwise. I'm just saying, uh -huh. shouldn't we have a higher standard before we? Try to destroy people or no? I don't think it's destroying him. I, I don't. Forcing I don't him to resign. Th that that is not destroying him. He's okay. already. How would you feel? You you teach at Johns Hopkins. Yes, if I, I do. said I've heard that Wendy may have. I don't know any details about this at all, but may have met with some representative of a foreign government I dislike, mm -hmm. and I'm going to go to her employer and say she needs to be fired right now. How well, would you feel about that? I would feel okay because I know at the end of the day I can <laughs> go. Okay. I can go before the world and say, actually, I did not. I and mean, we will see tomorrow that Jeff Sessions is not going to do that. Instead, he's going to say, you know what? I will enact executive privilege on this, and I will not answer these questions. Uh -huh. And that's what we're going to see. And we're going to see him play the okay. blame game and say, I lied on this form because I didn't know why I should put on the form. Uh, the blame game. That's okay. what's going to happen. Uh, so I do, I do think there is a higher principle here, but you clearly disagree. Wendy, thanks for joining us. Thank you.